YouTube man, what's going on? It's LNH back with another vid man, and we got a fire video today. Kyrie Walker has finally proved to everyone why he's way better than everyone is giving him credit for. And Amani Bates just did something huge in the news, so we're gonna break it down and get right into it. Now, if you guys have not seen, of course, Kyrie Walker has played a couple 1v1s, has been on YouTube for a minute, Twitch, and he actually was playing basketball against Cam Wilder, a famous TikToker, just a couple days ago. Now, I'd made a critique and stated that this dude was not playing the best and he didn't seem that smooth. But of course, a lot of people in the comment section were pretty much coming at me and basically stating that this dude was just playing around and obviously not taking the game serious. Now, that's for fun. But in the video, I'd actually mentioned one of his teammates who kind of helps validate Kyrie Walker's entire decision to go to Chameleon BX instead of college basketball, which is just a training facility. Now, in that case, his teammate was named Marjan Bochamp and if you guys didn't see this dude like I stated in the previous video is actually averaging 30 points per game 11 rebounds per game and five assists per game because he decided to go back to college instead of going straight to the NBA now in that case this dude has actually just signed a G League deal with a G League Ignite team and that is huge and a lot of people are actually comparing this to what Kyrie Walker did and we're stating that Kyrie should have made this move now, it's really interesting because when we take a look at it, I think it's all about the opportunity and the time you take. So in this case, Kyrie Walker, of course, being a super highly recruited player coming out of high school. Yes, he did take that senior year off, which many people thought that was a mistake as well. But of course, after that, he decided to go to this training facility. Now, in my opinion, I had stated before, I think the best move for this dude would have been to go back to college. And you see what his teammate is doing in college. I think if Kyrie went back to college, one, it would have gave him a stronger foundation. So the thing is, when you're at a training facility, of course, you're probably not playing against NBA guys every single day. You maybe get a shot here and there because they do have some connections. But I think if Kyrie Walker maybe went to college and just had that platform for him to really show off his game and show that he can play with these other players, I think it would have made his time a lot easier because right now it's almost like he's grabbing on thin string and it's really tough for him because people haven't seen seen him in such a long time to be able to really judge his game based off his previous performance. Now, if he went to college, of course, he would have played against the Cade Cuttinghams and a lot of these guys who, of course, probably would have gave him a good run for his money. But of course, it would have been a super interesting game and we would really be able to gauge how good this dude is. And he maybe would have even got drafted, which would have made his time in that transition a lot easier. But a lot of people even were curious, man, why didn't Kyrie Walker go to the NBA G League and did he even have an offer and it's really curious because we really didn't hear anything about Kyrie Walker and the NBA G League and the reason why that's super interesting is because Kyrie was already a high profile player look at all the people he was playing in and against in AU he was playing against Zion sometimes he's playing against Jalen Green pretty much any of the competition Cade Cunningham any of these guys who had some type of name or ranking in basketball this dude was going head to head against them and performing that's the key factor here. So to really see him not even talk about or mention the NBA G League, man, there must be something going on because that seems like it would be the most likely and really the easiest way to get there. Because of course, instead of going to that training facility, you go to the G League, which is the closest you're training anyway, and you'll get to play. That's the really interesting part about this entire situation. Whereas of course, you saw the other guys, Jalen Green and a lot of these other players just go to the G League, which clearly made this transition a whole lot easier look how easy he is playing and how comfortable he looks on the basketball court in the summer league Jalen Green was really doing his thing and looked super confident his jump shot looked smooth and I think that's just what happens when you play against these caliber of players but again this is not the NBA the summer league is a whole completely different thing than playing in the actual NBA because you guys know a lot of these guys are not even going to be playing on the full-time roster squads but when we talk about evidence and what really validates Kyrie Walker's game even though we've yet to see him play man his teammate going to the G League and averaging 30 you can't tell me that he didn't get better improved a ton playing against a guy like that who's super tall and was already a top player in the country man it's crazy give him some credit for sure you guys let me know in the comments down below what do you think about this situation do you really think this validates his career and his move because you guys see other people or do you think he should have actually indeed went that college route or the NBA G League let me 
know in the comments down below. I definitely think he should have went to college or NBA G League, but man, he's already here now, so he's going to have to prove himself. You guys let me know in the comments down below. Now, on the other hand, if you guys didn't hear, man, it was some breaking news yesterday. Amani Bates, the number one player in high school basketball, just committed to where? Memphis. That's insane to me. You guys know it was breaking news yesterday, and everyone was super excited to hear this news. Now, Amani Bates, of course, being such a high profile player, this dude was killing on the EYBL circuit, has been a dog, played against Mikey Williams, pretty much any of the competition you want. This dude has played against, played against Bronny James, anyone. And this guy has given everyone buckets. He's super tall, standing at around 6'9", and actually is teaming up with another player who is the second player in the country, Jalen Duran. Now that's crazy to me. It's crazy when you see a player like this, one player, and these players who are ranked so highly in the country, and they end up teaming up at the same school, and especially Memphis. A lot of people are thinking he was going to go maybe to a bigger school. You guys know he was committed to Michigan State at one point, but decided to end up going to Memphis, which of course that's changing it. You guys have seen a lot of hoopers are starting to go to Memphis, and I think they're going to get a better name and a bigger name in college basketball but you guys know this happened actually not too long ago when zion williamson and rj barrett teamed up in college at duke they were going crazy you guys know they were some of the best duos in college basketball we've seen and they were very dominant on the court now will these two guys be like that man only time will tell but they definitely for sure have a ton of talent and man amani bates has been a dog throughout all his seasons now, Amani's top four schools were actually Michigan State, Oregon, Memphis, and the G League. And a lot of people thought he was actually going to end up going pro and, of course, going to the G League route because you guys know this has been proven now. You saw Jalen Green. He went there and what he did in basketball in that summer league, dude looked ready to go. So it's clearly a proven route now. And, of course, you're making way more money. But on the other hand, I think a huge part of this, too, was the fact that the NIL rule went in place. So since Amani Bates actually can make money off of his name, image, and likeness, that adds another layer of complicity to this entire situation. Now, at one point, Amani couldn't make money in college, so the G League probably looked a lot more exciting and really interesting route to go. But since things have changed so recently, I think he decided, man, maybe going to college is not so bad of a route. Of course, he can make money off of his name still play basketball and then of course try to get to league now this dude was averaging 20 points per game in the eybl which is nike's au circuit and he even had a 33 point game so it's clear that this dude was killing on all facets he was doing his thing on the court very comfortable ready to go and i think at that height him just having those guard skills just reminds me of the jason tatums the kds and super flexible on the court and loves to play with other people can get other players involved but also gets hit is. So I definitely think this dude is going to be good wherever he decides to go. But man, I'm surprised he didn't take that G League route because you see it so often and we always see the contracts and everyone gets hyped up because they're making millions of dollars, man. You guys let me know in the comments down below. Did these two guys make the right decision? Did Kyrie Walker make the right decision going to the training facility instead of college? Or should he have went to college or maybe even go to college then the G League like his teammate? And what do you think about Amani Bates going to Memphis man it's a huge decision of course it's not the school you would think of first when we talk about college basketball but they're for sure on the rise so leave a comment down below if he made the right decision but man like this video subscribe to the channel turn on those post notifications get a notification every time I upload a new video and let me know in the comments down below what do you think any video suggestions you do have for me leave them in the comments down below make sure to respond to your comments all right it's LNH and Mo.